Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. So this is the second time I'm trying to do this, but uh, Notion has a calendar uh, now. And I honestly thought they were doing a calendar integration, but they made a full on calendar app uh, and you can access it in web iOS as well as a desktop app. There is an Android app on the way, but how does this actually work? Today we are going over some of the features and why or why not you should use or shouldn't use this app. So it is a very keyboard centric uh, experience. You can use uh, D to get to day, week to see the week view or M to see the month view and they have uh, a few keyboard shortcuts and I love the fact that it is available in Norwegian as well. The thing people like about this is that you can now see all of your databases inside of a calendar app. So instead of doing an integration with databases, they just made a whole app. There are a couple of things you need in order to be able to see your databases. Uh, the first one is that your main database uh, needs to have a calendar view. I didn't actually have this on my old tasks database so I went on and made one uh, and you can quite easily do that just by finding the main database and uh, choosing calendar. I will delete this view because I don't need two calendar views and it has to be on your main database. So if I jump into my social media ideas this is a linked database, so it doesn't work with this. It has to be the main database uh, in order for it to work. And once you have uh, made yourself a calendar view inside of your main database, you can just press open in calendar and it will show up here and you can toggle it on and off, which is really cool. And a lot of people have been waiting for this. This is highly needed in the Notion productivity space. A lot of people have just been waiting for this to happen and it is finally here. And there are of course a few features missing. I won't go too deep into that right now because it is still a really early stage for uh, Notion's calendar app. Even though they bought Crone, I think it's two years ago and probably have been working on it ever since. It is the first or second day of launch when this video comes out. But what I will go into is uh, a couple of things that may end up with me or you not using this as your main calendar app. The first one is that there is no Android app yet. It will probably come quite soon but it is Notion so it can take a while uh, and the second thing is that you have to have a Gmail account so this shows your Gmail uh, calendar your Gcal with your databases. I personally use Outlook calendars. Uh, I have one for work, one for my personal stuff, one for my business uh, and Everything uh, is inside of the Microsoft 365 uh, ecosystem, which makes it a little bit hard to use something like this. The other thing that probably is more uh, important, and Tiago Forte actually uh, tweeted about this today, is the fact that you have everything inside of the Notion ecosystem and we all experienced what happened with Evernote. Let's say something uh, similar happens to Notion in 10 or 15 years. Would you be able to move everything into a whole nother experience and the tax of moving them? I know that for some people that might not be a problem, but for others it might be and that's why a lot of people have moved away from Notion to something like AnyType or even Obsidian LogSec where you own your own data. So that's the other problem I have with this but overall the calendar app looks really beautiful. It is easy to use. I love the uh, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you can even add multiple calendars into this if you wanted to. There are so many great things about this app and it looks really, really beautiful. And there is one other thing and that is that you can actually add things into your database from 
the wrong button. Uh, let's do this. And if I now change it to the day view, I can actually add things to my uh, databases from here. So as you can see, I can choose the database it goes into. I'm putting this into all tasks and we will say I need to go for a walk. Uh, and you can close this. You can choose to open it in Notion from here, or I can just jump back into my Notion, into my dashboard, my task manager, and my all tasks, or even jump into my daily tasks, and I can see it right here. And I can start to add things from here, which is great. Um, so that's also a neat feature. I will. This is done. I'm done with this. I'm not going out for a walk. It is snowing and I don't want to get wet. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, so it goes both ways. You can add into a database and you can take away from a database. But just overall, this looks like a great experience and a lot of productivity apps will have a problem uh, competing with Notion, when Notion also has its own calendar app with integrations with their productivity app, which is Notion. This gets a little bit hard, but I will call Notion Calendar for Notion Calendar and uh, just this thing here for Notion. So uh, it will be a problem uh, for apps to compete with Notion now that they have their own calendar app. And it is a step in the right di direction and I'm excited to see whether or not people will be using this. As I said, it is uh, a beautiful looking calendar app and if it weren't for the fact that I am um, solely a uh, Outlook calendar user, I would probably be using this app. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.